IAMCR President, Professor Janet Wasco, members of the Executive Board, chairs and members of the Local Organizing Committee, colleagues in the audience, colleague members of the panel, please permit me to introduce them very briefly. Professor Susie Taru, Professor Colin Sparks, Ms. Sandra Ristovska, and Professor Gary Wanell. We will have a bit more to say about them, but I want to bid you good morning and welcome you to this, the first plenary panel following last evening's tremendous opening ceremony and the presentations that we received uh, there. My name is Hopeton Dunn. I'm from the University of the West Indies, Jamaica, and I have been asked to chair the panel, and I will have some remarks of my own uh, a little later on. As you know, this plenary session is being convened to pay our special tribute to Professor Stuart Hall, who passed away on the 10th of February this year, uh, just over five sad months ago. The photographs you see being rotated on the screen are very evocative and very reflective of the person we knew Stuart to be. Many of us in this gathering and around the world who knew him or who, who had encountered his towering intellectual presence through his conference presentations, films, published works, and other forms of output understand the extent of the loss in the passing of Stuart Hall. Upon the announcement of his death, there was a large outpouring of tributes coming no less from colleagues within the IAMCR community, but also students, scholars from all over the world in their different institutes, universities, and departments organized their own forms of tribute to Stuart Hall and his contribution to their own uh, intellectual growth and development. Today is our collective opportunity to also do so through personal, critical, and scholarly analyses of his work and something of an evaluation, however brief, of his contribution and that and the input that he has made into our discipline and into the work of the academy globally in general. It is to the credit of the IAMCR that this plenary session is devoted to the memory of Stuart. And I am now to call upon the president of the IAMCR, Professor Janet, to join us and to make her remarks, and in particular, to make an announcement. Uh, Professor Janet. I'm here to announce that the IMCR will be creating a Stuart Hall Award. It will be given. And it will be given <clears throat> once every three years, similar to the Dallas Smythe and Herbert Schiller Award. It will be awarded to a paper that re represents the critical study of culture, and it will alternate with the Smythe and Schiller Awards, one being offered each year. We'll begin with a, the Hall Award next year in Montreal. And we'll announce that fairly soon. Uh, I'm pleased to say that Hopeton Dunn has agreed to be the first chair of the committee that reviews the submissions. And also, I will encourage you to 
feel free to donate as you pay your membership to the Smythe, Schiller, or Hall Awards. Also pay your membership. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Hopeton, for organizing this panel, and thank you all for attending. Thank you, Janet. And uh, it is good to know that we will be keeping Stuart's memory alive through that particular form. I'm shortly to announce the, to introduce in a bit more detail the members of the panel. But there's a colleague of ours who has had a very close association with Stuart, who was unable to come, and who kindly sent a fairly lengthy tribute. But I have selected just a couple paragraphs out of it. It's a tribute from Graham Murdoch, who many of you know as Professor of Culture and Economy, now working at Loughborough University, but who shared quite a bit of time with Stuart at Birmingham. Graham observes that it is no exaggeration to say that without his work, cultural studies would not have developed in the way that it has, nor would it have established itself quite so firmly as an indispensable current of thought and analysis within the study of media and communication. Stewart set out to retrieve the complexity of ordinary people's lives from the condescension of elites to detail the cultural barriers to the restoration of respect and hope and to identify points of refusal and sources of creativity and renewal. Those were sentiments that we all can share coming from uh, Professor Graham Murdoch. The members of the panel are mostly uh, persons who have come into personal contact with Stuart. I start with Professor Susie Tharu. Professor Tharu is a distinguished Indian scholar whose work spans the field of literary studies, feminism, and cultural studies. She established the Cultural Studies Department at the English and Foreign Languages University here in Hyderabad and is founder of the Research Center for Women's Studies called Anveshi here in Hyderabad. Professor Colin Sparks is Professor of Media Studies at the Hong Kong Baptist University, having previously taught for several years at the University of Westminster in London. He is a founder editor of the journal Media, Culture, and Society. Sandra Ristovska is a documentary filmmaker and a PhD student in communications at the Annenberg School of Communication, University of Pennsylvania in the United States. She is co-chair of IAMCR's Emerging Scholars Network. Professor Gary Wanell is director of the Research Institute for Media, Art, and Design at the University of Bedfordshire in the UK. He is professor of media cultures and he is convener of IAMCR's Popular Culture Working Group. Gary Wanell is a long-standing researcher and he specializes in culture and sport. So those are the panel members and we will be in a little while asking them to come up and make their presentations without further announcement. But permit me just a moment or two of my own reflection and comments on Stuart Hall. I knew him and interacted with him over the last uh, 20 years, particularly over the last 10 years during his very productive and active retirement. He visited the University of the West Indies at least twice, 
in a long career, we regard that as relatively rare. And you will know why I say that. Professor Hall was born in Kingston, Jamaica in February 1932 from a middle-class family of African and Indian extraction. He went to one of the popular local colleges, Jamaica College. He left Jamaica at age 18 in about 1951 as a Rhodes Scholar to Oxford University to study literary analysis. Mind you, not politics, not cultural studies, but literary analysis. He did not feel a settled place in the colonial context of a Jamaica and considered himself part of the uh, unhomed, as he called it, part of the generation that migrated from their territories to other parts of the world. He considered himself to be someone who was highly influenced by the anti-colonial struggle and that he lived a life that was intended to empower the impoverished and the dispossessed. Professor Hall's contribution is regarded in papers that I and others have written. His contribution is regarded as one of an interventionist, a polemicist, someone who didn't write books for writing books sake, but who intervened on topics and issues because he felt it was important. He intervened because he wanted to correct or to enhance an argument. And he intervened because he wanted to make a difference given his view that scholarship and the academy is meant to serve and not just to exist. Professor Hall uh, played a very important role in bringing into being the discipline that we now call cultural studies. He also played a very important role in refining and enhancing the field of communication studies. Many of his concepts we now take for granted. The notion of uh, encoding, decoding, many of the other concepts that he has brought to bear on our thinking and our study. It will be for others on the panel to take us through other aspects of, their li of his life and to bring to bear on this discussion their experiences and the dialogue that we hope